What are you doing? What animal is that? Daddy. Doggy? Yes. Did you put it on the kitty? No. Yeah, you did. I saw you. Should we do your hair? No. Okay. Where's the pig? No. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I should do avocado toast because everything's already out. But I was going to do oatmeal. What should mommy have for breakfast? Oatmeal. Oatmeal? Yeah. Did you already eat? Yeah. What did you have? Water. You had water? Yeah. Oh. This is what? I just got back from my workout class. Do you know where mom went? Yeah, okay. Workout class. What did you do while I was gone? Uh, yeah, um, you were at home? Yeah. Mm. Uh, at home with daddy. You were at home with daddy? Yeah. That's cool. You played with your animals? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. You think that mom should have oatmeal? Yeah. Or should mom make a smoothie? Yes, yeah, mommy. What? Yeah, mommy, toast. You do toast and a smoothie? This is a little piece of toast. Okay, mommy will make toast and a smoothie. We are still on our sourdough bread kick. So good. You like sourdough bread? Yeah. Oh, you don't? Mommy likes it. Yeah, mama likes it. I also got this butter, which I have been loving. What is that? Miyoko's vegan butter. I'll just use Parker's plate. I need my everything but the bagel seasoning, my seasoning salt, my lemon. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, yeah. This? Yeah, yeah. Lemon. Yeah, yeah. Say lemon. No, yeah, yeah. First, we're gonna do a butter piece. Hey, Baba Mama. Yay. Woof, woof, stop, 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 stop. I always like to let my toast cool before I put the avocado on it. I don't know why, I feel like it just tastes better. It like gets more crispy or something, I don't know. But while I do that, I'm gonna take my vitamins. Shout out to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. This is the Essential for Women postnatal vitamin. We also have one for dad. They also have kids vitamin. My favorite thing about these is the minty aftertaste. But some vitamins just taste so bad. Yeah. Eat them. I will eat them. I have to tell the camera about them. I really like Ritual because of the transparency about the ingredients that are actually in the vitamin. They share where they source them from, why they source them, the environmental impact. They have different vitamins. I feel like this camera is also too bright. For all different people, this is the most name, like I said. They have a normal multivitamin for women that are like not postpartum. They have a prenatal vitamin too. They're also vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten-free. There's no sugar added, which I love because so many vitamins have sugar. They also make it super easy because they have a subscription. So they are delivered right to your door and they just came out with their essential protein range. So they have lots of great stuff that you guys can try. So I'm going to have it linked down below if you guys want to check them out. I have a code that I will put on the screen, Aspen20. And if you guys use that and click my link, you can get 20% off of your first month. So ritual.com slash Aspen20. So putting the avocado on my toast, my my seasoning salt, my lemon juice, and then I'm gonna take these, and I usually like to eat right after I take them. You can take them with or without food too, which is nice. Easy breakfast, I'm gonna eat this, and then probably make a smoothie. What the? Where do you think you're going, Luma? Where do you think that you're going? She wasn't going to, but I guess we're gonna go to Taco Bell. So we are now in the line for Taco Bell. Parker was at gymnastics with Cove and I wanted to look up Cove's five month baby update. So I looked that up and we went to Taco Bell and I've been wanting to film one for Lola just like at some point soon. So I was like, okay, after gym, come pick me up. We're gonna go to Taco Bell and do a little five month baby update. We actually just got a call. We have a tile delivery coming today and they've been meeting us like at our storage unit. So we're gonna get to Taco Bell, go to the storage unit so we can just like wait there for the delivery and do a five month baby update. And it was also so sad to just like look at the video because it was like January of 2020. So it was just like sad to, to like watch that and just not know like what was coming to the world. That was like oh, a month before right. COVID. It was like the end of January, I think. And that was back when I'm pretty sure back. that was the five month one. It could have been the six month. One of the ones that I watched, I was just like watching a couple of Cove's baby updates, but yeah. it was just like so sad. I was like, I just didn't 
even like have any idea like what was coming to the world and now here we are two years later and it's still a thing but right. anyways i don't know what i'm gonna what i'm gonna get I mentioned in the video back then that they had just gotten rid of the Cool Ranch Dorito Taco. Yeah. And I was so mad. And I'm still mad to this day that they never brought it back. That was that long ago? Yeah, that I didn't know it was that long ago. ago. I think I'll get a Crunch Wrap Supreme maybe. I haven't had one of those in so long. It also looks Is so Is it called like a vegan right Crunch now. Wrap Supreme? Um, I'll give you the details when we order. I'm gonna, I was thinking of Crunch Wrap Supreme too. I think we'll get Ko with some nachos, maybe a burrito for her. It'll be easy for her to eat. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I might get a couple soft tacos. I know, I feel like I always get like 10 different we things do, when we yeah. come to Chaco Bell. Also, you can kind of tell in this lighting that my hair is like a little bit darker, a little more natural. Yeah. Natural blonde. Is that kinda. your natural color more? No. Look at the bottom of my hair down here. See What's natural? Hair? That's natural underneath there? I mean, I think so because I know she weaved some like dark into it. Oh, you can go. But um, yeah, my natural hair is pretty dark. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a Crunchwrap Supreme? three of the soft tacos and then can i do a spicy potato soft taco thank you oh you dropped your toy thank you you too all right you remember these they always forget these oh that's right no this guy that was taking the order he was on top of it got the big truck behind us with the tile we're gonna get that in and then eat our Taco Bell. I'm also so impressed. We waited probably maybe two minutes for our food. That was the fastest fast food that I've ever had ever. So yeah, it was anyways, great. we're gonna get this tile loaded in here. Hopefully that doesn't take a long time because we are really hungry. Come here, Coco, are you hungry? Okay, so pretty much the, that couldn't have been a worse Right, the vlog that I just made. Yeah, bad timing. And then the gate was frozen shut, so then the guy had to like follow us home to leave the tile here, and we have another delivery, and the gate's still gonna be frozen. All right, talk about mall. And I wanted to film it in the car, switch up the scenery, but we were like, let's just go home and crunch wrap the ring. Crunch wrap the ring with beans instead of beef, add potatoes, cinnamon things. They pretty much always forget these, so I'm impressed. I got cold some nachos. I probably should have gotten another taco. Parker got like seven tacos. And I did get a spicy potato taco. Here's yours. That's nachos for you. I don't know if she's ever even eaten Taco Bell. All right, these are daddies. This is daddies. One's mommy. Luma, you get down. Yeah, this one is for mommy and Coco. This is daddy. Look, here's a potato. That's kind of healthy. You eat some nachos and that is quiet time. You're gonna do quiet time in your crib, okay? Guys, I got a Stanley cup. I gave in to the hype. I thought it was a Utah mom thing, so I didn't want to give in. But then my management texted me and they were like talking about them. And I was like, oh, if everyone likes it, then, <laughs> then I'll win. It's not sad. that I didn't like, it looks like a great cup and it is. They're really big. They're always sold out. They just like launched new colors. I texted Laura and I was like, I'm thinking about getting a Stanley cup because they came out with this cute new pink one. It was like about to launch. And she's like, no, I was going to get you that for your birthday. And I knew they sell out really fast. So I was like, okay, hey, I'm going to, we both literally set alarms. Like you have to set an alarm to get on there and like get the one you want. So I was like, hey, you get it for me, but I'm also going to order it in case you don't get it because if you don't get it and like I didn't get on to get it, then it's gonna be like neither of us got it. So I, and then I accidentally ordered three of the pink one. So I'm gonna give one to my mom, one to my sister, and then I have like an extra one. And then Lauren got me one and then I got Parker one. And then I also got myself a purple one. This is the so. same type of hype thing that like the screen does or like really? the sneaker drops, all the sneakers that I buy. They only yeah. sell, they sell out super quick. So yeah. everybody jumps on and like sets a timer and tries yeah. to get them. Yeah, we had a timer set for like two days. Wow, I forgot how good these soft tacos are. I'm pretty sure I usually add rice to this when I forgot. I haven't had this in forever, but it's also like kind of cold now, but. Five month baby update. Lola's in her room now because she grew out of her bassinet. We moved her when she was still like four months. And I remember Cove, we moved her when she was five. Wait, what? Oh, when she was five months? Wait, we did what? We moved Cove to her room when she was oh. five months. And yeah. Lola we did like right before she was actually five months. But mm -hmm. anyway, she's been sleeping good. She usually wakes up at like 4 a.m. And half the time she'll go back to sleep like by herself. She'll just like wake up and make noise. It's been for, for the past week yeah. that, well, no, the past three nights in a row, I've gone up there at 4 a.m. to give her a binky. Well, I keep leaving like 10 of them in the crib and she pushes them all and they fall down in the crack. But half the time she'll wake up just like make noise 
noise for a second and we wake up and we're like, should we go up there? And then she mm-hmm. falls back asleep and the other half of the time Parker goes and gives her the minky, so. Or like one time she woke up and she just made a little noise, but then she like fell back asleep and then made more, more noise. And I noticed that she had a binky stuck under her. So I was like, I have to go up there yeah. and take it out from underneath her. Cause she's just gonna keep waking up and fussing because of it. Yeah, she rolls around all over. I just switched from the Dreamland baby sleep sack to the kite baby one because she just like is rolling around everywhere. But yeah, so we moved her, which I'm still like really sad about. Like I want her in our room still. With Cove, I wasn't right. quite ready to move her yet. I wanted to wait till like six months, but she was just too big for the bassinet. And yeah, Lola's already like way too big, which is funny because I feel like Cove was bigger than Lola at that point. I feel like Cove was like more chubby, and, like wouldn't have fit in the bassinet. I had more rolls. But... Yeah, she was. Yeah, Lola's still pretty small. I posted a TikTok and I showed her diaper, and everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, she's still in size one diapers. What the heck?" And then my friend has a baby who has the same birthday as Lola. And she's in size three, but I feel like size. So then I was like, wait, maybe I need to like switch and I'm like not paying attention, but I feel like her diapers still fit. And obviously every baby's like a different size, but what are the other updates? Um, She's moving around a lot. Did you say that? No, I'm she... not ready for her to be scooting around. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, she's been rolling around a lot. Yeah, she's, she rolls uh, around a ton. She's a really cute smiler. She is. She's so sweet. And I love, like, her favorite thing to do is literally just, like, sit there and you hold her and just, like, look at you and, like, right. grab your face, which I think yeah. is really fun. But, yeah, she's rolling around a lot. She does a lot of, like, playtime just, like, with her toys on the floor and stuff when we're, yeah. like, making breakfast or whatever food or she's in the swing right now. But you yeah. want another bite? I feel, like, I feel like she's also starting to kind of understand, like, hold on a second, which is something that I feel, like, different. Really? It feels di- It's obviously different than with Cove because with Cove, if we're over here making food and Cove's over here fussing, it's like you have nothing else over here to take you away from going and just helping her. Yeah. But sometimes you're over here and you're like holding Cove or like... Yeah, it's definitely harder with two babies. Obviously, we don't... Like you never want your kids to have to like wait for you if you're right. like, taking care of another kid or something, but it's just like you do. But she's... De- yeah, uh, but what I was meaning is like she's more patient than Cove probably because she, like she's learning to like, all right, I need to wait a second. I yeah, guess, you know? she's pr- I feel like she's pretty chill. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know, maybe not. Also, been stressed about my milk supply because I felt like it was going down. And I do feel like I've been doing Jersey in a smoothie, and I feel like that kind of helped it like go up. I've trying, I've been doing that, and then just trying to like drink more water and whatever. So I feel like that helps when I do it like really consistently. But in my five month update with her, I also mentioned how she's eating less. Or sorry, my five month update with Cove, I also mentioned how she had like had been eating less. And mm-hmm. so that made me feel better about Lola eating less because I was like, oh, that's like a normal thing for babies to do at this age. So that's nice. I think she's starting to become more and more of a daddy's girl, like Cove. No. I think she is. I think you said in Cove's five month update that you already felt like she was a daddy's girl. Yeah, and I, I'm feeling like Lola's like just gonna pick you back really? Off of, I'm Because I kidding. really feel like she's mommy's girl. And I didn't really feel like that with Cove because you were right. She was a daddy's girl and she still is. You want another bite? Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I think that I'm gonna predict this one right too. I, there's no way. There's no way you get two. At least that but one looks like She's me. just gonna like. You also think that she looks like you and I do not think she I, does at all. I do. I think she looks a lot like Cove. So. I don't really know. It's kind of a mix in the comments. More people definitely say she looks like me, but people do say like she looks like you too. And I'm like, what the heck? No, she doesn't. No. Yeah. See, I do think she looks a lot more like you than Cove does. Cove doesn't look like me at all. Like, but I do. Sometimes I'm like, is Cove my baby? But I still think that some of her more dominant features like are what like me. Though? I feel like her lips, her nose. I don't think she has your nose. Her cheat, her like jawbone. I think so. She loves toys. Yep. I feel like Cove's starting to enjoy playing with her more. Yeah. And like she'll like actually hold her every once in a while. And yeah. Or she'll notice just like if Lola's crying, she'll say like, like oh, yes. if we have her walking over there, she'll be like, oh, baby, she's cute. Yeah. She'll like let us know or Do you know when she'll go grab crying? her her binky like one time I think I don't know if you were here but she was in on our bed and I had to like somebody knocked and I had to sign for something or something mm-hmm. and so she was like crying in the back and Cove like went and got her a binky and I came mm-hmm. back in and I'm like where did that come from? Cove's like I got sissy binky I'm like oh. so nice huh <laughs> it's was that sticker on did your you belly? Did you have a sticker on your belly? That's so silly. <laughs> silly sticker. <laughs> She's definitely starting to notice us eating food. Mm-hmm. Like she really wants to eat food. I've given her a couple tastes of things, but I'm not gonna do any actual like sitting down and giving her food until she's like at least six months. I think with Cove, I waited until she could sit up on her own. It's like what you're supposed to do with baby leg weaning, which we are planning on doing again. So I've given her like a little piece of 
I don't even know mm. at this point. Banana. Mm. You want to try a potato? Baby's first Taco Bell. Mm. Yeah, we'll literally like, do that, but I'm not planning on doing food. I'm like stressed about the fact that we're going to have to make so much food. I've been thinking about it so much lately because Cove, when she like really started eating, she would eat just as much as we would. Like her portions were literally like right. as big as ours. Right. And so that's just going to be different. Like if we make something, we use like... Is it spicy? Like if we make something, we'll use like one can of beans or whatever. And like, that's always enough. But now I'm like, we're gonna have to like double our recipes, especially because I always like to save more for leftovers. Right. And we haven't had that as much lately just because mm. we're like being cold now and whatever. So I'm just not over that. Like we're gonna have to start making so much food. Still. Yeah, I always think about like the fact that my mom or even your mom like had four mouths or five mouths to feed. Six, yeah. I guess, including her themselves, you know? Yeah. It's like, that's crazy. That's a lot of food, food to make. I know. We're gonna have to start like uh, doubling yeah, recipes yeah. and stuff when we get no. You wanna try one of these? Yeah. Do you like no. your nachos? You can eat your taco. Oh, you eat a chunk? I think I'm, I've moved on from this. I'm into the, the other items more. Really? My spicy soft taco or whatever is right there. I used to be obsessed with this. Yeah, no, I remember we used to we go We get all it like time. every day. When you were pregnant with Cove, right? I was thinking when... And when we were in high school, I feel like Taco Bell was No, I was good. thinking when we started with it in grade. Oh, and it was like the closest restaurant. We would yeah. get that all we the time. We would get it all the time. It was literally like a stone's throw from Blue and Gray's first warehouse where yeah. we were every day. And we would when go. We just get Taco Bell. every day, which is yeah. so funny. Like now at this point, I'm like, what were we even doing there? I don't remember. We were packaging things and setting like up I all the like orders. the whole system. Yeah, I used to get this. I would like crave mm. that all the time. Yeah, I feel like she. We got lucky that she's like a pretty happy baby. She does freaking spit up though every she spits two up a lot. minutes. Yeah, which is normal. Babies do. But Cope just Cope didn't never did it a lot. Yeah. Okay, we can have one more of these, and if you're still hungry, you can have more nachos or more taco. Okay. Yeah, I was saying in my last video, which if you're not subscribed. I go check me out. I feel like Lola has spit up more in one day than Cove spit up like her entire infancy. Yeah, and I'm sure she spit up a little bit more than we remember, but she really was not a spit up baby. No. She was more like drooly, I feel like. Like we would have bibs on her, but because right. she was just like drooly, but Lola spits up quite a bit. So that's like a big difference between them. But other than that, people ask like, oh, can you tell a difference between their personalities yet? And I feel like I kind of can't. <laughs> Is Sissy getting you? Sissy, 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 yeah, I think it will be fun. I'm really sad about Lola getting big just because I know that I don't want another baby for like quite a while if we have more, but I do think it will be really fun when she, she starts just, crawling like, and like Cove sitting more. up. Yeah, Cove will oh, play with man, her so much more. Oh man, life is... Think about all the things that are gonna be way more stressful when she can crawl. Like right now, we usually will go down in the morning and get a workout. And Cove kind of just like entertains herself down in the basement. And Lola just plays on a blanket like with toys like right That's by us right. so we can keep an eye on her. Okay. And we'll be like on the treadmill because she's can't move, she's far away, like it's okay. And then when she moves, Mommy. like we're not gonna be able to do that because it's not safe. Right. Mommy. Anything else I new? Suggest it. Aspen's been I doing a lot of little Mommy. hairdos on her. She's got a yeah, I kind of need fun. to start doing her hair. I don't know if she needs a hairdo, but it just is getting so like long. really long. Yeah. yeah. Are they good? Spicy. They're what? They're spicy. They're spicy? Yeah. How do you like being a big sister? Uh, yeah. Mama. You, you do? You like mama? Who's yeah. in our family? Do you remember who's in our family? Daddy. Daddy? Sissy and Sissy and Luma? Do you yeah. remember who else? Or who do you love? Daddy, mommy, and sissy. Daddy, mommy, We're all your sissy. sissy. We're all your best friends. Do you think it's fun that baby <laughs> Lola lives at our house? Sissy, 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 sissy. Yeah. She kicked you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Sissy, sissy. Sissy, sissy, sissy. I tried like a half up, half down today on Cove. And Cove looks so cute, but it's a little mullety right now. It does look like a mullet. <laughs> I think that I put like too much hair in them. I don't know. I was thinking that the whole time of gymnastics. <laughs> I was like, she looks like a little redneck. <laughs> you always look so beautiful though. Yeah, and then she was crying after I was like done because she just didn't want. She was like, whatever. Dude, so guys, I couldn't fix it. I used to have the best looking mullet ever. When? You don't remember my mullet senior year? No, I wouldn't have or was even it junior looked year? at you if you had that. It I couldn't promise. have been either of those because I would not have even given was you Was it sophomore day. year? It oh. had to be sophomore I thought year. that it was when I cut my hair off. I don't know, I'm gonna no. find a picture and put it you in. You cut your hair and you cut it like really short. 
Like shorter than um, it is now. Yeah. I would not have paid attention to you if you had a mullet. Do you think I should go back to one of those hairdos? No, you keep asking everyone and they always say no. I know. <laughs> I did. I posted on Instagram and I was like, I posted my long hair. I was like, who thinks I should go back? And I did a poll or whatever and it was like 95% no. <laughs> we like daddy's hair short, huh? Okay, Coco, it's going to be quiet time. You ready to do quiet time in your crib? Did you think? <laughs> Come in here. Good. 